This is my Echeveria Longissima that is well overdue for a cleanup. And a cleanup I did and I got carried away. So by the time I start having fun, I thought I might as well just share with you the fun I'm having in cleaning up Millie Bug. Hello there, my name is Liz, a self-confessed succulent addict. Welcome to my channel, Growing Succulents. Because I haven't cleaned this for a long time, so all the leaves have covered the stem. So you can see from, okay, so that's the stem there. That's all covered with dry leaves, which earlier today, these actually look like this one, just about. <laughs> this is my Ajavria Shamrock that is not rocking at the moment. There's a lot of dry leaves. And if I pull out those dry leaves there, there's going to be a lot of mealybug. So let's just go have a look, okay, quickly. But before I do that, these are the plants I have lined up for cleaning up. So this is a Chivria Jinmitenyo, and that one is a crested Echeveria agavoides bene musumi. Now this one is a Echeveria agavoides franki, which has got, look, lots and lots and lots of dry leaves, cobwebs, dry leaves, and I'm sure there, uh, that one, no mealybug, but there might be some mealybug. But, anyway, before I get to this one, and I'm getting carried away again, I'm enjoying this too much, but anyway, so this one now, so I started cleaning off all the dry leaves, and then I already sprayed it with methylated spirit, my metho, one cup of methylated spirit, and one, a quarter cup of water, and that's what I used to spray the mealybug. But I could not get to everything, so there's still a lot of in between the leaves that mealybug. See, you can see there? That's mealybug are hiding there. So I thought I'm going to show you what I do to get to those mealybug. So, first of all, tools of the trade is, of course, we need a plant. We need, or a plant with a mealybug, and metho solution. I have a really pointy tweezer. And forceps, hemostatic forceps. So this one is like a clamp, see it locks in. I use it for pulling the dry leaves off and also for scraping on the stem of my succulents. This one, I've got a straight one, but this one is a bent one. So if you can see the bent one there, because it's just good to say go over for the millibag. So I'm just gonna put on my loop. So got my ponytail and glasses down. So this one is 10 times magnification so I can see those tiny little millibug if they want to run so even from a pinhead size to say about two millimeter or three millimeter size millibug I can see them with the loop so there's no escaping so anyway let's get on with it so first I'm gonna start with the biggest rosette so I don't know if you could actually this camera is funny with the macro also, I forgot to tell you, you need some paper towel or tissue. So I don't know how this is going to look, but anyway, we shall see. Now first, can I actually, uh, okay. So I already have some millibug here. Look. I don't know if you can see that. So that's all Ooh. millibug. Now, down in the bottom, I just saw some mealybug here. Very, very hard to see. So, over here, don't know if I could capture that. Those are, look, ah, that little thing there, it's got its legs crawling up. 
So maybe I should do a loop. Look, it's running, it's walking. Can you see? There you go. Hey, Millibug. Where are you going? Look at that. It's going to run back to the plant, but now we're going to squash you. I'm sorry. There you go. Millibug. So, this is what I do. I just keep going with the millibug because sometimes you can use sprays but what's the fun in that <laughs> I find it very therapeutic in uh, well put it this way you can see from the start that my paper here is still quite clean okay with a few millibug blood but by the end of this I would have, oh my god, this paper would be covered with blood. Also, if you spray it with methylated spirit or the methyl spray, it darkens them. So say for example over here, I don't know if this thing would capture that from that small rosette. That one is this little one here in the... Okay. See that one there? That is just... If I stir this up, they will just start running. See, look at them. Those are all millibug. Look at that. Just millibug. And... I usually do this in front of the TV at night time while watching my recorded shows. Look at that. Oh, so it is just so therapeutic, relaxing. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I have never seen, well, I have seen a lot of mealybugs before, but this takes the cake. This is like a lot of mealybugs. And if you say the plant's going to die, no, they do recover. So from the mealybug attack. It is getting so windy out here. I'm getting, look, blown off. So it's just the wind so strong blowing all the mealybug. It's already on the pot here. Look, ah, look at that. See, it's crawling. Look at that little mealybug here. There you go. Die. I'm sorry, but you have to die. some dry leaves and also behind the dry leaves are mealybugs hiding 
see down in the bottom here. See, even that, look. See, can you see the mealybug there? See how much mealybug's running around on the surface of that. Look at that. Oh. It's just so good. I don't know if any of you <laughs> likes doing this, but I love doing this. When I'm really, really stressed, I go look for mealybug infested plants and do this. Because you just forget about your worries. <laughs> and now I'm getting bitten by the mosquito. So anyway guys. So I don't know if you like this sort of video. But. I just find it so relaxing. And then. Once I had enough. And there's still plenty. Of mealybug. I just spray it with my metho. So I don't know if you're even seeing this, but I think I have to go inside because the... Oh, look how big that is, that one. Look. See this one? Look. Oh, it's a nice, juicy one. Look at that. That is beautiful. Now, okay. I have to go inside. So, but, yeah, as I was saying, once I have enough, or it gets too much now, then I just use my metho spray, and that gets rid of a lot of them, but I have to go over there, so like that. And see all the black spots? Those are mealybug. They just get dissolved by <laughs> the metho. But to me, that's no fun, because now I can't squeeze them. And extract do some mealybug blood but anyway guys i don't know so i thought i'll just show you my little craziness that i do oh there's one running run hang on so now don't even know see both sides now from this side oh that's a good that's a good side okay so <laughs> look how much mealybug i've killed Okay, so any big ones? No. So I think I'm just gonna spray the whole lot now because fun is over. I have to go inside. Oh, that's most mossy bite again on my leg. So we've had so much rain and there's so much water pooling everywhere. Okay, melt. This is just melts them up. And now, there's any leaves that's got, that are dry, that's hiding mealybug, of course, I have to pull them out. Or else, I won't kill, kill, kill the mealybug. Okay, I'm going inside now. I'm going to cook dinner now. Oh, I missed a spot here. There you go. So you really have to check because any dry spot that hasn't been sprayed, mealybug can hide. Okay guys, oh, I got a mossy bite right under my pants. They're crawling underneath. So anyway, so all these plants that I have here now, I'm going to bring this inside and clean them up while I'm watching my TV shows. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye. Happy hunting.